So after arriving in Nusa Penida, we spent our first day settling in at the luxurious Maui Hotel and exploring the famous Diamond Beach. Over the next 48 hours, we're going to take you to some of the lesser known locations that normal tours skip over and what it's like sleeping at Nusa Penida's only luxury glamping resort. This is like Changu's shortcut, basically. All right guys, we are going to a natural spring. It is called Tembling, and <laughs> it is probably one of the more difficult uh, motorbike rides I have ever had to experience here in Nusa Panita. <laughs> As you can see, the bike is parked right up here, and um, the way down is very steep. There's quite literally nobody here, so we've definitely picked out the correct spot to go in Nusa Panita. But it's also roughly about the same time when people start heading back to Bali if they're here on a one day trip um, because the boats leave around 4, 4.30 and it's like beginning to be 2, 3 o'clock I think now. So let's not get stuck here in the, in the evening before the sun sets. So there's actually a second parking area back there. Um, and now you have to pretty much just walk down the steps. It's gotten really hot so I've got my shirt off because I hear the beach. Uh, so we're gonna go head down. It's been roughly about I think 20 minutes walking down so far. It hasn't been too bad Check out this beautiful rock formation as you're walking down. It's incredible. That's just something that's been carved out to build these stairs And in front of me I can finally see the natural spring pool and there's nobody in there. They've even got their own local bathrooms here. <laughs> Let me show you. So if you guys really need to use the bathroom as a last resort, you can go in there. That honestly does not smell good. <laughs> so guys, there's actually two natural springs. There's one right above that we passed. That's a little tiny one. Come all the way down to the beach. That's where the bigger one is. It's much cleaner. Um, and of course you can come down to the beach near the water where the waves are crashing but From my point of view right now. It looks pretty rough down here at the beach um, I would not advise you to go in the water At least not too far maybe just up to your knees or up to your ankles Because the current looks very strong and there's a lot of sharp rocks out here All right guys, as you can see, we are on our way back now. It's roughly about like four o'clock, so it's gonna start getting pretty dark very quickly. I wanna make it back before then. But for those of you that are wanting to come down here, um, it's roughly about 20, 25 minute hike down. You can take your bike down this path. Just make sure you're a good motorway dri driver and um, make sure that you have uh, really good brakes. Because if you don't, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty dangerous. Good morning guys from Nusa Panita. It is our last day here unfortunately, but we just checked into a brand new place called Authentic here in Nusa Panita. And it is a luxury glamping spot and you won't believe what this place actually looks like. This is like an Instagrammer's paradise. All white tiled pool with crystal clear blue turquoise water. It's just mind blowing, honestly. And you have these beautiful umbrellas right behind me here with beanbag chairs underneath of it. And then if we take a quick walk from the pool area, this is where all of the luxury glamping tents are. So from what I see, there's about, I think like eight to 10 and they all look pretty much the same. It's just a matter of what kind of view you get. And we chose for the best view here. It is tent number seven and it is the valley view here. Let me show you what it looks like. All right guys, so here we have it. Tent number seven, 
Got our own fire extinguisher in case anything happens. Now if you look right here, we do have a light switch and that lights up all of the light bulbs surrounding the tent. I'm sure it's gonna look really good at night here. You can see that the tent actually has a few windows which you can roll down for privacy. This whole tent is just really well designed here with the framing, the light bulbs. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not expect this luxury glamping to look the way it is. When you have camping in mind, you have certain expectations where you know you're not gonna get AC, you know you're not gonna get electricity, but that's different here. So at the very front, we've got two bean bags here with our own little table overlooking the valley. And then when you're tired of sitting out here, you have the bedroom. So this bedroom actually has a full queen size bed, beautiful laid out towels. You have a whole dressing area with some hangers, a hat that they provided, and the luggage and bag area as well, some pool towels. And then on the other side, we've got our coffee area. We've got fresh water, water dispenser, uh, that is hooked up to electricity so you can give you uh, it'll give you hot water in fact for coffee and tea uh, can you imagine that you have this for glamping and as you can see we even have electricity we've got a fan running in the back but that's not all we even in fact have an air conditioner in our tent that's how luxury this glamping is so as you'll see there's lots of light switches you got the fan control in the back there we've got even a working area back here so we have not two outlets we've got four outlets just in the working area here they provided us some snacks a tissue box not sure what this is probably for storage even insect repellent for the mosquitoes at night and then let's take you guys into the bathroom area this is one of the nicer bathrooms i've ever seen in a glamping tent uh, they've done this place up you have here a full-on working shower with hot water. You've got your sink here with towels, soap. They've even got a plug here for a hair dryer and even a Western toilet. This is pretty much full-on luxury hotel amenities in a camping site. You would have never imagined this to be here. We've driven to the east part of the island, I believe. I'll put it up on the map for you guys. This is a temple that not many tourists actually come visit or document. I was actually surprised to find this place on the maps um, and no videos really about it. So what's really unique about this place is that it's a temple inside of a cave here in Nusa Penida. And so our first challenge of the day is going to be to climb these massive steps. Look how tiny this cave is. Oh my god. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. This cave is enormous. Wow. And it smells so good in here with the essence burning. Wow. This is honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever done and it's it's sad that nobody covers this in Nusa Panita. Nobody tells you about this. Everybody says to go to the beach. Um, go to Diamond Beach, go to Kling Kling. But nobody says to come here. This is honestly better than all of the beaches in Nusa Penita. Come here. I'm surprised none of you have ever told me or recommended me to come here. We're now walking down this very long pathway. It almost seems like this cave just never ends. You can just see the small little light bulbs in the far distance with bats flying around at the top of the ceilings. So right behind me is where they're doing the ceremony right now. I'm not sure how often they do the ceremony, but they're sitting down to pray and they're also lighting uh, offerings for people to go up the staircase, which we just passed. Uh, and they go up the staircase to complete the offerings. And it is just a large, large amount of people in here. It's very misty, very humid in here. It's a super unique experience that 
I really wouldn't have known about you could do that, that you could do in Nusa Penida. So we're gonna take a walk back now to the main entrance. Now, as you're taking a walk down this long pathway, if you guys look up at the top of the cave, you'll see like red markings and red paintings. Almost, it's like almost an art piece. It is so beautiful down here. Look how small the entranceway is, guys. Wow. You pretty much have to crawl to enter and exit out of it. My back hurts. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back at the port. It's unfortunately time to leave Nusa Panita. We had a great time here though. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment down below any questions about Nusa Panita, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.